Welcome to Talking Politics. I am Paul Gable. I am here with my good friend and co-host John Bond Sr. And today we are at the Surfside Cafe and Creamery on Highway 17 North and Surfside Beach and we're welcoming Surfside Mayor Bob Childs. We'll be back in a moment. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, welcome to Surfside Beach, Paul. I'm glad to have you. Well, always nice to visit Surfside. We're at the uh, Surfside Cafe and Creamery, which is a relatively new business here. And it shows that the town is vibrant and moving. And, and, uh, and you're welcoming small businesses. Oh. Uh, at one time, uh, you, uh, there was a, a movement on you. Didn't, uh, people were complaining that uh, Surfside didn't welcome small businesses. But that was just a myth, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that, that's yeah, that far just, from the truth, that John. We, we welcome <laughs> small businesses, and to ship, particularly this uh, coffee shop now. I've been here a few times over the last couple of weeks and really enjoy it. Good coffee, and the, certainly the help is uh, very pleasant. I had a sandwich here the other day, which was terrific. It was just one of the best sandwiches I've had. Uh, they just are terrific uh, people to uh, come and visit and uh, just buy a sandwich or two and, and visit the nice shop here that you, you have in Surfside. You're welcoming new businesses, and that's great. That's wonderful. You know, You're on Bob, the move in Surfside. John, uh uh, several months ago, told us that he had to lose weight, and all oh, I've heard him talk on, about stop since it. is what he's been eating. Let, let's go on to the issues, not on to my weight. No go way ahead. to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> but are you, you going to go along with him? Of course I mean, he is. If I want to look like a Buddha, I look like a Buddha, but I don't think I look like a Buddha. You look good, John. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's go ahead. The, the first and most important thing uh, to talk about as far as Surfside Beach is concerned is the pier, I, I would suppose. And if you could give us a little update of how that's going. Well, the pier is in, in a way has been very frustrating. We're, we're dealing uh, with federal agencies, and if anybody's ever had dealings with federal agencies, nothing goes fast. Nothing's fast and nothing's easy. And, Seems like every time we feel like we've got our hand on that tin can down the road, it's pushed down a little bit farther. And uh, we're doing everything we can. We're hoping that we do hear something this week. We were promised we'd hear something last Friday, and and for whatever reason, uh, it didn't come about. But uh, we're hoping to hear something this week from FEMA in the direction we can move in. Well, well the bureaucrats have to do their job, you know that. They're very slow and they move at a snail's pace, so you have to understand that. Well, I'm glad you mentioned FEMA because I think it's important for people to understand that Yes, FEMA is, is an emergency disaster group that comes in and they do some immediate stuff, but to hear all this business about FEMA money available for rebuilding and what have you, and that's what we're talking about. When we're talking about the, the hurricane of September 2016, yeah, yeah. and that, that has nothing to do with the three hurricanes we suffered this past year who are also relying on FEMA, and maybe by 2025 or so, it'll all get straightened out. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess the unfortunate thing, there's been so many disasters around the country uh, here in the last year. It's just unbelievable. Every time you, one goes by, another one, you got Louisiana problems and Florida problems, Texas problems, Puerto Rico problems, and now they're having big fires out in California again. So uh, FEMA, they have their hands full. There's no question about it. They, they do, and they're, they're kind of constantly under budgeted. They're, they're one of the things that, uh, yeah, it's emergency, and we can put some more money into it if we have to, but we won't have an emergency this year, and we always have emergencies. Did they have to pr approve the plans of the pier? Uh, yes, uh -huh. they're, yes, they do, John. In fact, is they're working on that very issue as we speak. And is that why the delay? Is the delay? That is, that is, it seems to go from one department to the other. And, well, you know, who's who's handling it for you at, your, at the uh, town? Do you have a, well, a person or a group we're, that's handling uh, We do. Uh, we, we are field? working with a group that uh -huh. is working uh, as a go-between uh, between the town and FEMA. Uh, you have to make sure that everything is absolutely correct when you're dealing with these government agencies. And uh, we are dealing with uh, an outfit that is assisting us in, in that endeavor. What, what's the overall cost, roughly, if you know one that, that's uh, Well, we're involved. talking about around to, we're hoping to be able to 
to do con concrete pylons and a wood decking, and we're talking somewhere around $9 million for that. But, uh, you know, uh, we feel like by doing that, uh, we've been kind of assured that before any uh, major maintenance is done, about a concrete pier would be 50 years. Wow. So in a, in a wood pier, we're talking about, you know, before we do any major maintenance, 20 years. So, right. you know, we're hoping uh, that we can go with the uh, concrete pylons because you just never know when the next hurricane we could build it in. How important today. is the pier? Is it bring an influx of tourists? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's the... It's so the, what, are you, what are you projected to, uh, to bring in insofar as well, the revenue it, and... Well, it's hard to tell, tourists. John, because we have, you know, we have a couple of rental properties there. We have the tackle shop and the uh, restaurant that actually rent from the town uh, at the pier, so it's... Well, let me ask you to hold that thought. We'll come back to the pier in a minute. We'll talk we about traffic to, next. We have to take a break and uh, let our sponsors talk. My name is Angelo Antonucci, and I'd like to welcome you to my restaurant. I've been in Myrtle Beach now for over 30 years, and we are the home of the greatest steaks in the universe. Here at Angelo's, we have a fantastic Italian buffet with your favorite pastas served with meatballs and sausage and delicious gourmet pizzas. But where we really shine is our entrees like our scampi traditional, Alfredo or lemon romano served over linguine, our French pork chops with garlic mashed potatoes, and our twin fillets featuring our signature marsala sauce. It's a great place to enjoy with family and friends, so stop by and see us at our new location at the corner of 24th Avenue South and South Kings Highway. Don't just take my word for it. Come in and try Angelo's, home of the greatest steaks in the universe. Here at Angelo's. Surfside Cafe and Creamery, we pride ourselves on serving you the best there is. Our breakfast and lunch menus feature Boar's Head products. And how about starting your day with one of our signature coffee blends from Charleston Coffee Roasters. Surfside Cafe and Creamery has something for every taste, including the best ice cream on the Grand Strand. You gotta taste it to believe it. Surfside Cafe and Creamery, 1611 Highway 17, Surfside Beach. Welcome back, and we were talking about the, the pier in Surfside, and we talked about FEMA and the delay, but I think there's one other point to make. Um, the pier is something that Surfside Beach is known for. Correct. And if there wasn't a federal agency, and that's always been my, I, I think, my philosophy, the federal government is to do what others can't do. If Surfside Beach had to take on that $9 million or whatever it amounts to to rebuild that pier out of its own budget, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? There's no question about it. It would absolutely be a monumental problem. It would. So we're we're hoping for all the assistance that we can get from FEMA on this particular issue. I hope it works out well for you. And, and of course, we, we put up with the time, but we do get the aid, and I guess it all balances out in the end. Yeah, right? yep, it does. What are you going to do with this traffic, uh, especially the service roads? You, well, you, you're at a risk of your life when you go uh, get off the 17 uh, business into the service roads. The stop signs, the yield signs, the this, that, and the other thing, and so you're taking a risk well, just driving here. John, uh, as driving you pro through. probably know, this year they're going to start working on uh, Business 17 oh, great. through Surfside Beach. Uh, and all these uh, turnabouts that you talk oh, about that are awful. very dangerous, we're going to do away with wow. most of them. We're going to have acceleration and deceleration lanes. Well, that's smart. Uh, frontage that's road smart. is going to, a lot of the exit entries are going to be eliminated because right now, it's almost like part of the highway. It's, it's How very are you going dangerous. to eliminate that? You have an engineering study uh, on it? Absolutely. A road story? We have an engineering one? company that's strictly uh, concentrated on the safety factors of Business 17. Uh -huh. So do you think the businesses along that to the roadway there are going to be very happy with the design that you're having? It, absolutely. Uh -huh. I don't see any, any problem at all. Uh, we haven't had any kickback. And they're going to still be able to get to the businesses, but what we're going to try to do is 
to funnel the traffic on the frontage road to traffic signals. Right now, it's almost like a free-for-all. Well, when did it start? Uh, we're supposed to start this year. Okay, this, coming year. this year when? Well, in 18, right? Well, I, I think what's holding things up, as you know, they're, they're in the midst of doing uh, Glens Bay Road. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's, so a, that's going to be completed. that keeps getting delayed, so I'm hoping that that will not uh, interfere with them starting business 17, but I would imagine that's got to be a factor that weighs in on their beginning. Uh, how, how does it affect this uh, area of town where we are sitting now at uh, 1611 uh, North uh, Kings Highway? Are they going to be affected by it as well? Uh, well, you know, it'll be repaved, and the big thing well, is... that's good. Repaving is good. ...is the... In the median sections where you can actually make a U-turn and people usually stop and pause and that's where our accidents are happening. We're going to eliminate those and we're going to eliminate a lot of the exit entries over in the frontage road so you can't just race down frontage road. You can only go so far and then you'll come back out. Okay. So there's, a, there's, not, there's not going to be any impingement on in so far as traffic and people uh, to come. Like, I love this cup of coffee. No, and I'll come every day to have this coffee. It's one of the best coffees. You know, do you taste the coffee here? I do. I've been oh, here several wow, times, and coffee. I agree with you wholeheartedly. So hard I would want not to be inconvenienced by having roadblocks and so forth. I want a nice cup of coffee, a nice fresh cup of coffee. I, I think I what John's asking I'm you selling for this place. is when he comes in to Surfside in July <laughs> yeah. at, at noontime on, to get his cup of coffee, he wants yeah. a police escort to this place. Well, so we'll, 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 not me, we'll not work me. on that. No, I'll work on that. Would you stop it? But I'll personally bring you over. Over here myself, John. To make sure that you yeah, know. okay, I got it. I, I read you. I read you well. How's your budget this year? Uh, we're we're doing good so far. The town is in very good financial shape at this point. We're we're not in debt. Uh, we're uh, managed to to finance all our services, and we have a lot of services in town, as you know, John. Oh, yeah, we have our own fire, well, our huh? police, our public works, and everything is just working just fine. I, I think you. Uh, you, as at the helm of the uh, town, has done an excellent job. You coordinate with the businesses. Uh, you're out there. You meet the people. You come to new business, like we're sitting here now, uh, meeting Eric and uh, Nina uh, Gravera. Uh, you're, you're doing a yeoman's job. You're a good salesman. You're good. You're good uh, mayor. Well, I, the I, mayors don't usually do this, but well, you do. I appreciate the compliment, John. I really do. I, I do try my best to uh, go around and welcome new businesses. Uh, as you stated here, I, I came in this establishment just right after they opened and uh, brought my wife Nancy down here, and we well, had they had, they had a couple of problems that you took care of right away. Uh, we try to work very which closely is, which with is good. These, you yes. coordinate with them, and, yes. and you're right there listening to their concerns. But going back to the budget, the budget looks good. There's no going to be any millage uh, increase or anything. No, like we're uh, at this point. No, no. We're how, in good shape. how about? Are you going to expand the uh, town? Are you um, looking to expand? I, going to grow? Can we hold point, on no. that? Huh? Can we hold on that? Because that's, sure, that's maybe an interesting issue. But we gotta we gotta take a I break again. I'll drink my coffee. We'll okay. be back. In a, we'll be back in a moment. Striving for excellence is what we all do. After ten thousand hours of practice and preparation, we become experts at our crafts. Our skills become a manifestation of our talents, and our service becomes sought after. We are the professionals, taking care of the details. The professionals, mobile detailing and car cleaning specialist, taking pride in what we do so you can take pride in what we do for you. Surfside Cafe and Creamery, we pride ourselves on serving you the best there is. Our breakfast and lunch menus feature Boar's Head products. And how about starting your day with one of our signature coffee blends from Charleston Coffee Roasters. Surfside Cafe and Creamery has something for every taste, including the best ice cream on the Grand Strand. You gotta taste it to believe it. Surfside Cafe and Creamery, 1611 Highway 17, Surfside Beach.
Well, welcome back. We, you were talking, John was asking you if you had any intention of expanding the town. He was talking about annexation. Speak about that, if you will, just a little bit about annexation from the perspective of, what are you, about 6,000 residents? Uh, a little less than that. Little, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, well, there was some talk of annexation. Uh, it never really got much further than the talking stage. Uh, there's a lot of people that feel very comfortable with the size of the town now. Uh, we're doing well. And of course, you know, a lot of times in, when you go annexing places, you, you kind of bring possibly stormwater problems with you. Uh, when you get into stormwater, you're talking about millions of dollars worth of work. So council hadn't at this point been really uh, that interested in annexation. There was, like I say, some conversation of some of the commercial, and that maybe someday that would come about, but at right now, I don't see that happening. Well, you know, as you get down 17 out of Myrtle Beach, and of course, the south end of Myrtle Beach, for that matter, there's been a, a significant number of empty buildings for a number of years. Now, you guys seem to be filling some of those buildings back up again that are within the town. Am I right on that? Yeah, but, you know, it's it's unfortunate uh, that some businesses aren't able to make it and then other businesses uh, will come in. But, you know, it, it's hard to pinpoint what an issue is and why a business leaves. And I've had uh, some business people tell me that, you know, they can't afford the rent and if they keep bringing the rent up higher, they just they can't afford it. And I, and I think a lot of times that's the bottom line. Uh, the owners of the building just keep pushing the rent up to where these businesses just can't make it work. We got your first issue for 2018 council. Rent control on Surfside. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare the people. Paul. You're scaring them, Paul. Relax. No, you know, Bob, I have only intermittently covered Surfside Beach Council meetings and what have you, okay? I do remember 10 years ago or more when I filled in kind of more on a routine basis. And, and one thing I always enjoyed, although I'm not sure the council enjoyed it, was you had some, and you weren't necessarily a part of this, but there were some rollicking council meetings in those years. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, we still have some once in a while, but uh, we try to keep them under control. I, I, I can't say much more than that. <laughs> well, how, how was the parking uh, issues? Uh, you had years ago. You had some problems with the uh, meters, and that was a big uh, to do about the meters. The people didn't like it. They didn't were encroaching on their properties, etc. You go to some of these strip malls, and there's no parking hardly to get in there. So, what are you going to be doing with the parking? How are you going to resolve those problems? Well, I tell you, John, years ago, I said that I thought parking would be a problem, and I think people go, well, and that's crazy. But parking is a problem. Parking is a problem in any city or town you go into. I don't care where it is. And uh, we are working uh, to resolve some of our parking issues, but uh, the, the nature of the beast is everybody wants to drive their own car, and consequently, you know, you just need twice as many parking places. As well, you, well, you, saw, you seem to have solved the problem down in Surfside uh, uh, Avenue well, when you had those uh, the problems at uh, the business there with respect to parking. You recall you you also uh, blended in a, a new concept with respect to uh, uh, dressing up the area more or less. Well, you know, you put we'll, in trees, you you, mm -hmm. you put in the uh, the bumps, the speed bumps. You widened it to seem what? You, you also allow the businesses to put in uh, fences where they can have seating and et cetera. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you really did something in that area. You gave it a nice aesthetic look. Right. Well, but if you go to the other areas, it's not as nice. Are you going to plan on something like that to upgrade the beauty of the place? Well, it's, I'm glad you asked that question, program, huh? John, because right now, absolutely right now, we are working on beginning a landscape project all the way down Ocean Boulevard. Okay. Uh, what we want to do is, you know, and get it aesthetically, uh, really a nice looking area. We eliminated parking on Ocean Boulevard uh, okay. because their cars were just parking everywhere and just tearing up the grass. And so. And, and it doesn't look good as well. Right. Or so. they 
parking helter skelter. It, it, it doesn't blend in with the area. It, it, it aesthetically, uh, it, it's not a nice sight to see. So it has sight pollution well, so far as that's concerned. As you well, know, we're removing the telephone poles and putting underground wiring you are? Are you on, a, on okay. Ocean Boulevard, which is going to be. Paul, that's something new. It's going to really uh, aesthetically help the looks of it. And then after the underground wiring is done, then we're coming behind it, and then we're going to be landscaping. And so over the next few years, this will be done in phases, and it should really, really, is, is there absolutely. Any, is there any planning let's, on? Let's hang on to that thought. Well, a minute. We do have to, yeah, but we do have to take a break. Okay, so. go ahead, quick. Our, our sponsors pre uh, preempt you. We'll be back in a moment. Located at 1300 Highway 544 near Coastal Carolina University, Soho 544 is an area's favorite for sushi, hibachi, American and Asian fusion cuisine. Soho 544 also offers daily happy hour special for only $5, as well as some of the lowest beer and liquor prices along the Grand Strand. So don't wait, come and join us. Soho 544 also caters to large parties and special events. At Surfside Cafe and Creamery, we pride ourselves on serving you the best there is. Our breakfast and lunch menus feature Boar's Head products. And how about starting your day with one of our signature coffee blends from Charleston Coffee Roasters. Surfside Cafe and Creamery has something for every taste, including the best ice cream on the Grand Strand. You gotta taste it to believe it. Surfside Cafe and Creamery, 1611 Highway 17, Surfside Beach. Back, we were talking with Mayor Childs here. He was talking about a uh, beautification project that's going to come to uh, Ocean Boulevard in, in Surfside over the next few years. And, and you said there was something to do with 17. If you want to tell us about those two, some more. Absolutely. Uh, in the renovation of 17 through town, uh, at its completion, it's going to be landscaped. So we're going to actually aesthetically improve the looks of 17 along with the improvements of the frontage road and the exit entries and the deceleration lanes so it will look good and uh, and Ocean Boulevard is kind of all going to be at the same time. How, how about the electric poles? Are they going to be underground as well? Well, you're going to leave them the way it is now. Well, at this point, we're going to change the lighting poles uh, as far as in, the in underground sense, wiring. In what sense? Some of it, but that's a very, very expensive project. Well, I understand that, but you have the federal government to uh, help well, you out, don't you? I, I I mean, you have the bureaucrats that are ready to help you. If they're helping I, you with the prayer, I, they should help you with the poles. Well, John, I wish... It, it, I aesthetically, wish it will be beautiful if you put the yeah. don't poles you, Don't you love it? John, John, John fancies himself as a very conservative, fiscally responsible Republican. So what's wrong with Immediately looks at the federal but I government look for, for all kinds first. of money for all kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, but I look for safety. I look for safety first and the beauty of the town, because as you get the town that looks beautiful, the people are going to come here Absolutely. and spend their money. Absolutely. And if they have the convenience and they can have a nice cup of coffee like I'm having right now, mm -hmm. they'll come to the businesses. And, and they'll enjoy themselves, and they want, they'll say the first place they want to visit when they come to South Carolina and Myrtle Beach area, they go to Surfside. Well, Why? Because Surfside looks so beautiful. This, this, this one. change that's coming on 17. Will that make it easier for ingress and egress to a business like this? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's going to be a big safety factor. Uh, that's the big thing. We have a, you know, the, it will stop a lot of the wrecks that are happening now you know any town we have a lot of tourists they have their mind they might be looking for the water or trying to look here look there and you know and that's that <laughs> and a lot of the left hand turns from the right what hand is your lane 2018 resolution for the town 2018 resolution uh here it is as mayor of surfside bob child is going to tell Nothing you what like it putting is. you on the spot one. is it bob well we're gonna 
the there you go. big priority right here, da, number da, da, da. one is the pier. We want to do the we start working on the pier. We want to do business 17. So if we can accomplish those two things over the next couple of years, uh, we're doing good. So that's your pledge for 2018? 18 and 19. 18 yeah. and 19. Okay, yeah, we're just talking about know, 18. Anything these, else? Well, no, that's, that's the big thing. What present are you going to give the residents and the businesses in Surfside for 2018? For 2018, well, we're hoping that they will see the construction of our new pier, which will be the biggest thing. Uh, it's a big draw in Surfside Beach, and once we start that, it will not be completed in 18, but everybody will be able to see wow. that which direction we're going. Tell wow. me this, when, when they get moving on that, will, before it opens, will it have to be totally completed? Is that the way, to, or will they open a section, or, or well, don't you know? At this point, our hopes are, is to eliminate the whole thing and start all over. Uh, they, the, the buildings down there are old and yeah, they, they, are. Need they are renovation and the pier you really just can't I pick thought, up from where it I thought off. you would say for 2018 you would like to set up a, a business council where you're going to work with the businesses and coordinate with them how they can upgrade the town and how you can help them and how they can help you. That would be something for 2018 you should consider. Well, John, we are having a business council. John, we're there ahead you of you. We have a business committee <laughs> as we sit here right now. Okay, there you go. It works Isn't with that the business very See, closely. I bring this up and they have it. So we you, already have it. We are okay, way ahead of you on that. Well, talk about that just a second then. Well, there's a group uh, that the town set up a business committee and there's a group of people in town that own businesses and they meet and try to resolve issues that the businesses have and and if need be they bring their suggestions to council and council makes a decision on this. What, what kind of what kind of problems have they voiced, if I can ask? Well I think the last thing was uh, getting an advertising out you know, to advertise the businesses, and they're working with the businesses uh, at this point now of, of getting the word out that what is in town, like this uh, establishment we're in today, is getting the word out that it's here, you know, come and visit, you know. They're not talking about a tourism development fee, though. Not at this point, no. Can I drink a coffee? And, and <laughs> you are, you actually, you don't have your own chamber of commerce here. They, no, they uh, merge in with Myrtle Beach. Right. How exactly. much advertising for Surfside is being done by the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce? Well, you know, advertising is very expensive, Paul, as you well know. And I think the Myrtle Beach uh, Chamber of Commerce is doing a good job uh, for the town. They're doing, the, doing everything they can for us. You think you get your fair share anyway of the advertising? Well, I believe so. Uh, it's been looked into before and you know with what we pay the chamber and, and what we get back, uh, I think it certainly is a fair to what they're doing for us. And they're always, uh, they're always very receptive to any suggestions that the town has. Uh, they work with us and so I, I don't have an issue at all. Well, I just wondered, as you, you said, some merchants were talking about advertising. What were they thinking about? Well, the merchants themselves, you know, they want to do some self-advertising. Uh, we just started here not long ago doing some advertising in this uh, publication that comes out of Market Commons. They now have a section for Surfside Beach. That, that seems logical. Yeah, and it's, uh, I forget the circulation, but it's its really a, a, a lot of paper goes out. A lot of paper to tourists. Why don't you, then, uh, yeah. why don't you make Absolutely. a pitch for the Grand Strand Daily? Why don't I make a pitch for the Grand Strand Daily? Well, you go out to about, uh, what, 14,000 people? Well, in this Grand, area. Grand Strand Daily is on the internet only, and we try so, to cover. So we try to pitch. cover uh, po political issues. I'm just issues. trying to help you, Paul. I know you I'm are. Just I know to you are. Paul, but this all. isn't the place to pump Grand Strand Daily. And I know that we want to pump ready, Surfside. But, but the next show we're going to have, we're going to have the uh, coroner, Robert Edge. He's sitting right there. Hi, Robert. How are you doing? Uh, we miss you, Robert. I don't miss you because I'm alive. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much, Bob. Yeah, I would suggest everybody to come visit Surfside Beach. We have a lot to offer. We have yeah. probably, I consider, the prettiest, pristine beach along the Grand Strand. Now, that's... Uh, and we'll yeah. ask them all when they come to visit, and they should. Yeah. Look at the menu. Can we Stop take the menu? at the uh, Surfside Cafe and Creamery, <laughs> which is a, a fairly new business. Look but it has menu. excellent coffee and especially excellent ice menu. cream, which John knows about every flavor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, I mean, Mayor really Childs, thank you very much for joining us this week.
And uh, Bob, you have to. Have we we want to wish you a, a, a very <laughs> happy you, John, New thanks. Year to you and the town. Well, the same to you and John. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I thank you. I need this that. again with you. I need oh, we'll do it again, especially as you get going on the pier. Absolutely. Can't that's wait. all. That's all from Talking Politics for this week. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.